Hey, welcome. Today we are going to use, this is, we're going to taste Frost Top. I'm not sure how you say that. Frost Top root beer. It's in the bottle. It's in the bottle. What's interesting about this is I was at Ace Hardware buying some stuff and I looked over and there was this bottle here. One brand that I had never seen before and it's interesting that it was at a Ace Hardware. It's not where I was expecting to find a root beer. It doesn't really strike me as a root beer type of place. It doesn't strike me as any type of drink type of place. Yeah. What's kind of cool about this is if you can look at the picture, it has a uh, drive-in. So they have drive-ins and it looks like they're from the Midwest. So the people in uh, Ohio should be able to see that. And it says it's from 1926. Since it, the, the company was established oh. since 1926. This bottle isn't from 1926. No, 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 the bottle's not. The recipe is actually from the 19th century, which gets a little bit screwy because the 19th century is actually the 1800s. Quick little uh, lesson for you. Would that be history or? Yeah, it could be history or uh, I don't know. Kind of a, I don't know what kind of thing that is. The other thing that I like about this one, haven't even tried it yet, but take a look at how many ounces that is. 32. 32? Yeah. Whoa. 32 oh. ounces in Frost Up Frost Up Ruby. It's in the foam. I like changing it up a little bit. So the, the most of the bottles that we've seen have been about 12 ounces. So this and is- And glass. And glass. What this is plastic. Cap? Yeah. This is plastic. You want to open it up? Nice. Now this has not been in the fridge for very long at all. So we're doing something a little bit different. We're putting ice in the, the glasses. I don't usually like to do that because I'm afraid it's going to water it down. With it being warm, it does have more fizz, more of a head. That was kind of their big deal. It's in the head. Nothing tops, nothing tops a frost stop. It's in the film. It's not like a loop here. Yeah, Nothing a little special. experiment to it. My initial reaction is I like it. To be honest, it doesn't really feel special. It almost tastes like one of those wintergreen um, lifesavers, the white ones. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. I like it, it feels smooth. Of course, I prefer some carbonation, so I don't really like it. Well, it's uh, sweet, it's sweet. And I have to be careful because I found it at Ace and it was kind of like a, I was very excited, it was like a, an unexpected find. It, I didn't even expect to find it there. I guess that's the definition of an unexpected find. And uh, there it was from across the room. I like it, it's sweet. It's smooth. It doesn't have a lot of carbonation. Now, I know that's a big sticking point yeah, between us. But it's, it's not bad. Maybe a... Uh... I'd say uh, <laughs> if you're in the store, you could probably buy it. But who is often in an Ace Hardware? Look, of work looking for root beer. Yeah. I like it. I think it's good. Neutral. I think it's just a, maybe just a step up from your regular two liter mugs, barks. I certainly like it better than barks. Barks has too much bite for me. Someone's a little weak. It has that right flavor in my mouth when I'm done with it. It's caffeine free. There you go. Won't keep you up at night. Yeah. Stay, Stay frosty, frosty, my, my friends. friends.